Hey guys, I'm Javonna Nicole and welcome back to my channel where I bring real life stories to life. If it's your first time here, hit the subscribe button and stay a while. At the end of this film, I'm going to recap three important tips for parents and children. So stay tuned guys. Melissa, where's mommy? Look at this school. Leave me alone, mommy's taking you. Mommy is in here, so get up. Oh. Mommy needs to teach you how to go to school yourself since she's never here to teach. I'm hungry, Melissa. Okay, we'll stop at the corner store and get you a sandwich. Keep playing, you're great. school, Melissa. I had to take Zuri to school because you weren't home. My man needed me, so I was a little late. I see she made it though. Mom, you're always a little late. Do you even care that me taking her to school makes me late too? Melissa, stop your whining. Zuri has walked to school before and she could have done it again today. Stop trying to use us as an excuse for your lateness. Mom, every time you get a boyfriend, you leave us with no food, Zuri has no lunch, and you're barely home. Melissa, you are getting on my last nerve. You better get out my face right now. You never want to listen. Whatever, Melissa. Don't leave me. I'm never coming back. She never listens to us. Always put her boyfriend before us. <sighs> Babe, you know I am always going to be here for you. Babe, you are the most important person in my life right now. I love you, babe. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Okay, I'm calling the police. No, just leave me alone. I'm fine. It doesn't sound that way. Where are your parents? My mom doesn't love us. She only cares about her boyfriend. She leaves Zuri home. She doesn't pick her up from school. And I ran away from home, but Zuri needs me. Oh, baby. I'm so sorry you're going through this. Oh, I'm so sorry. What's your name? Melissa. Melissa, you can't stay out here. You should go home and talk to your mom about how you're I'm feeling. I'm not going back there. I'm going to find somewhere else to sleep tonight. She doesn't care. Oh, I shouldn't be doing this. Melissa, I have a guest room you can stay in for the night, but you have to go home tomorrow. I could get locked up for taking you in. I appreciate the offer, but I'm okay. Wait, at least take my number. Call me if you need a place to stay. Here you go. Thank you. My train is coming, but I gotta go. Can you wait, please? Let me pray with you real quick. Heavenly Father, I come to you on behalf of Melissa and her sister Zuri. I'm asking you that you wrap your loving arms, arms around them. Mommy, I'm home. Mom? Mom? Melissa? Huh? Hey, Mom.
Pretty little lady. Hi. You like puppies? I can't talk to strangers. Well, I'm giving this one away. Do you want it? Really? I love puppies. You want to pet her? She's really friendly. They're so cute. Okay. She loves kids. So her name is Hyla. Come here. Come on. Where you got it? Oh, she's so cute. Real friendly. Shut up. Yeah, bro, I'm definitely coming back tonight. I just need to check on Zuri to make sure she's good. Either Zuri and my mom are asleep early or no one's home. All right, bye. What's wrong with the lights? Zuri! Mom! Zuri! Hello? Yes, Melissa. Mom, where are you and Zuri? Melissa, I'm at Mr. Rob's house. You didn't get Zuri after school? What, Mom? No, you were supposed to get her. I just got home and she's not here. She left the note saying to park. What? What, what are you talking about, Melissa? Melissa, what are you saying? Mom, I'm going to run to the park to see if she's here. Session. Therapy was good. She helped me prepare to talk to her. Take your time when you're talking to her, okay? If you start to feel anxious, just place her on hold. You got this. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Mom. Hey, baby. How are you? I'm doing good, Mom. How are you doing? I'm not doing so good. I miss you and your sister so much. Things have been so different since you both are gone now. It's been hard knowing I'll never see my sister again. I think about her every day. Melissa, I am so sorry for everything I put you and your sister through. I know that you may never forgive me for how I treated you and Zuri, but I want you to know that I am a changed Mom, person. Mom, I forgive you. What did you say, baby? I forgive you. I can't live my life mad at you, or I'll be unhappy. That's not served with everyone. I love you both with all my heart, and I will never be able to forgive myself for how I treated both of you. But just knowing that you forgive me. I'm happy to hear your voice. Zuri's birthday is coming up. Maybe me and you can go see her grave together. Yeah, baby. I would love it. We can go to visit her grave. You know, she'll be turning eight. I just can't wait to see you. And you know, I just want you to know I have been single for two years. And I promise you, I will never put a man before God, myself, or my family again. Good for you, Mom. I love you and I'll talk to you later. I love you more, baby. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. 
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that film as much as I did. Well, this is a real life scenario. So here's three tips for you. Parents, your children are your priority. You are responsible for them. Never put anyone before your children except for God and God will help you lead the way. Tip number two, children, never speak to strangers. We tell you all the time, bad people are skilled to give you candy and show you puppies and show you money so that they can snatch you up. We don't want what happened to Zori to happen to you. And tip number three, forgiveness is key. We know we go through things with family and friends, but you have to forgive in your heart because guess what? Forgiving somebody is not for them. It's for you. So until next time, you guys, turn on post notifications, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and then join me again right here on this channel for my next film. Thanks for joining me. Bye, guys.